here we go again. So first of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who sent me a lot of love um, the past 16 hours. Thank you. I love y'all. This decision had been a few days, in, oh, a few days. It had been a few days in the making, but I've been at breaking point for like a month or so now. Um, but as soon as I, I put out that little statement yesterday and made the final decision, I felt a world of anxiety and pressure and, and heaviness I have been carrying lift straight off me. Um, I'm, I'm pretty annoyed at all the, uh, I just want to say this decision was coming and I'm happy I finally made it on my own terms. Um, it's sad that news got leaked yesterday that I didn't even know about. Um, yeah, things got heated in the Nigeria game. There was a physical altercation and there was words exchanged, but I'm hearing things that aren't true at all flying around from people in Australia and America, which is crazy, but um, I'm seeing reports that I went out partying. Shit, I wish I did. I know some of the people in Vegas have been having a really good time this week, but I've been in here, bro. I've been in here. And the only time I left this goddamn bubble was for the All-Star game. I don't appreciate the lies. Don't you ever get sick of lying on my name? Like, sheesh, don't you have anything else better to talk about? Yesterday was literally one of the hardest decisions of my life, but it had been coming. I'd been having breakdowns in the car park at Whole Foods, like nonstop panic attacks, hyperventilating at the thought of going into one of the, the most precious situations which is already in a bubble with no fans, no friends. I've never played without fans. The main reason I sat out of the WNBA last season was my mental health. Like, I'm not okay in a bubble. I'm not okay playing in front of no fans. Mentally, I'm escapist. If I have no escape from a situation, I wouldn't want to do that to my team. So I just came here to say thank you for the love. It means a lot. It wasn't easy, but I feel so much better already. I'm wishing my Opal sisters nothing but love and victory and protection heading over to Tokyo, all the teams as well. I pray for every athlete's protection and that they all reach greatness when they get to Tokyo. Um, this Olympics ain't gonna be easy and it's gonna be survival of the fittest and there ain't no point dragging someone over there that's that's already feeling mentally weak so i just want to set a few things straight peace and love always and forever i'm going on vacation for two weeks